ASP.NET C Sharp with SQL Server as a database. Uh, this project basically uh, for e-commerce site where that uh, beauty product like uh, conditioner, shampoo, eyeliner, lipstick and every other products can be uh, sell and uh, customer can select the product and uh, buy by using shopping cart concept okay and there is an admin module where uh, that uh, site owner can upload images upload products uh, add edit and view the reports okay so once you buy this project you will get this file okay this file uh, that database script file then this project source code uh, with all the spx cs uh, that files and then installation get project report and synopsis file okay so first we will configure our uh, database so i will use uh, that script file to configure the database so first i will start sql server 2014 express edition i have already downloaded and installed it so you can use any uh, sql server version once sql server started you have to just connect to your server then you can right click database and click new database and give the database name. I will give the eShop my database name. Now what will do? It will create one new database okay, without any tables. So I will click on right click and new query. So I have that script file, db script file. You can just copy this path and click file, open file, paste the folder path and select that sql.sql file. This uh, file contains all the create statement and insert script. So it will create all the tables with sample records. Now if you can refresh that your uh, database, now it will show all the tables is coming. Okay. So that is for the SQL Server part. Now you have to configure your project in Visual Studio. Okay, so this again, this go to that project folder. This source code folder is there. Copy this path and click on Start and select Visual Studio. I am using Visual Studio 2017, so you can use any Visual Studio whichever you have uh, installed in your system. So again you go file and there is an option called open website. You have to select this, this one and paste the path, source code folder path, which I have already copied. Click on open. It will open the project and you can view all the files in Solution Explorer. Okay, this is the all the file, this is default.aspx and go design. And this, you can, uh, if you want to add any text, you can just click and add new text there, whatever you want. So you can type there. Suppose you want to change the logo or email, you can do that. Okay, so this is the source code, the ASPX. You can do change here also. Okay, now there is another thing. There is admin pages is under admin folder. Okay, there's uh, product, add product, change, uh, everything is coming in admin section. And this is the for customer section. Like customer will use that login, log out, my account. Okay. And this coding you have to just uh, click here and you will get that dot .cs. This is the coding is here. Okay. So if you want to change any coding, you can do that also. And once you open, you have to just change two things. So one is web config file, you have to change the database details. So my database name is uh, server name is RMS. So it may be uh, defined in your system. So accordingly, you have to change it. So how, how you will get that? You just go to the SQL server, right click here, and click on properties. We'll get the name. So it may be defined in your system. It may be your laptop name, PC name, or whatever it is. Just copy this section and go your uh, visual studio open web config file and change here database name i give already eShop, so there is no need of change if you have different database name you have to change there and this is uh, that it will come in the bottom of the every page so suppose you want to add your name so i'll you can change here i will give my name
whatever you want so it will come at the page okay so we can change from the config file only okay for you want to date or you want to leave date the copy related I will change this and another thing you can right click default.xps set as start page and then you run your project Added it is coming the bottom section. If you go any page, it will come with all the pages. So you can change it from web config file. Okay, now this is the home page. Now, what this is the product category, it is coming from database table. So, if you want to add more product categories, so you can add it in your database also. There, there, there is a table called uh, category master. Category master, you can just go there. You have to just add there. Okay, so if you add a new product category in this table, it will come here. Okay. Now, suppose I want to buy a product. Okay, so for that, I want to first select or search the product. So I want to add a shampoo. So I, I can search also like anti dandruff shampoo. So I will just type dandruff in search box and go. So whatever anti dandruff shampoo is coming, it will search. I will lipstick also I can show you and to lipstick, search by lipstick so go by lipstick or to come all the list now if I want to add this product so I will first I will to select the product then I have to click on add to cart now before that we have to register in the system or you already if you have registered you have to log in so I will add a new user here so I will click on register I will put my email id So you have to put, uh, enter your password, login password, same password, you have to type again, now display name you have to type, address you have to type, whatever you want to type, contact number you have to give, okay. Now once you fill all the details, you have to just click on submit, so it will register your user ID, uh, this will be your login user ID, okay and password we have already typed so i'll click on submit session successfully so if you if this data will save in this master this customer master if you go there customer master you will get a new user is created aditya at gmail.com so i will use that login id password i have to give the same password which i have given already sign so this user is just login and he is not done any transaction so there is zero record found whenever he is doing check out or he buy anything this list will come here okay so he is already registered so there is another for edit your profile so you can add the change your address so you want to add any code here now change password you can change his password also from this screen okay and then log out okay so now if you want to purchase suppose lipstick so you will say click on add to cart how many quantity he want he want two quantity so click on submit now this is added in your cart okay suppose you want to add a, another product click on add product so suppose you want to foundation so you can click on add to cart same way you want to number of product so you want to edit the quantity so first, first time he had two quantity now you want only one so you can click on edit change the quantity submit suppose if you don't want this product so you can click on delete or this will be removed delete suppose you want to add another product now once he is satisfied with the product he will have to check out so click on check out it will show the total amount then address whichever is that profile 
and now you need to type that card number cvv number whatever cvv number then you have to select the expiry date and click on submit this is not connect to any uh, payment gateway it will just uh, create one transaction id that will display here okay so first you need to submit then this transaction id 113 is created so that will show his uh, now this is coming is transaction details okay so he has done one transaction number 13 and the payment id one thing total amount okay so these details will save and admin can check how many product is sale how many transactions is done okay so if anytime he can log out again and he can show he can view his uh, details okay so i'll click on log out now i will go to and log in as a um, admin user so admin, for admin user you have to just uh, change your url so to click on admin slash so it will show the admin page admin slash so now you have to type admin user id password it is admin and password is you can check in installation guide these are the admin users so these users have the rights to uh, this uh, edition of product uh, and view the reports okay so if you want to edit anything or add new user you can do change password the same thing admin user can change his password users so it will show the vendor vendor is that uh, when you create the product you have to select the vendor that's the vendor details and this products suppose uh, this are products already there okay so i want to add a new product so how you will do that that's the important thing so i'll show you so I want to add a conditioner. Okay, so no category you have to select like uh, I want to add a shampoo, shampoos or whatever you want to foundation. Okay, vendor. So was HL or Lacme you want to Lacme and product name. description you have to type the description it will uh, display in the product page and price what is the price price say uh, 1000 rupees and tax is 50 rupees now this is that image file so you have to add an image of this product it will show in that product page okay so it is not compulsory but uh, you can add it so i want to add so first you add this product so you have to submit here you we'll go last page the new foundation is coming okay the details we have added image is not we have added so if you go to the bottom of the page you, in the link you will show the 44.jpg because this product id is 44 so you have to create one image of this foundation like the foundation and you have to place this folder in 44.jpg okay so you can just download one image So you can copy that images from here or whatever you want. Save images. But you save that image in your desktop. Give the name is 44.jpg. Now what you have to do is you have to just copy this image and place your project folder there is a product image folder is there product image this is all image already available so you have to just paste here 44.jpg okay now we go there in our page okay if you now click on view image it will show that 44.jpg so you have added the product folder so you want to edit this one so i will give that 925 order into a foundation so then just okay this new product is added there is a report is there report basically how many user is registered and what are the product what are the transaction is made that will display in there so there is a date range user can select because today we have done only one transaction there is only showing one now once everything is done so we'll just log out now we will go to the tower okay so we have added one uh, in foundation category new products if you click on foundation the new product will 
coming as the time to five foundation it is added so same way this product can be added to the cart and sell okay this is the this is the project where admin user or that owner of that uh, particular site can add edit product for sale and customer can search and add this product to his card and do the payment and all reported is visible by that uh, admin user so once you buy this project you will get this file this is that i already shown this is a database script file all the tables and everything is there now there is another source code folder which is include all the spx cs file and this is installation guide you will get this video youtube video so you can just check how to configure this is a project report and this is a synopsis file